there. I've been um, using the bands. We've been using the bands in class. Um, somebody said, can you do a little short video of what to do with bands? So here we go. I've got a lightweight one, which I tend to use for arms these days, and a heavier duty one for legs. But you have choose whatever you want, and you can always tighten up the resistance by shortening the band, okay? So we'll start just with a little bit of mobilising the lower back. I'm going to start with the lightweight band because it's going to be a bit using our arms as well. I'm doubling over to start with. And a light grip is quite nice. So the fingers aren't clenched, but just kind of taking the band around onto the, onto the shins, onto the top of the knees. And from here, you can sag a little bit and then lift and sit super tall. Okay, so, so neck is nice and relaxed. Do a few little head shakes and nuts. Shoulders are down, spine is tall, and on your out breath, just keep glancing forward as you let that lower back head towards the mat on your out breath, arms lengthen, and then rise back up, lifting, and then stacking the bones in the lower back, even going to a little bit of extension, back you go. So initiate from the abs drawing back, from the lower back, reacting and lengthening down to the mat, Breathe and then lift. We can use the band just to help for the first couple. And just let the breastbone lift a little bit more. Bring yourself to a straight back. Round, abs draw back. Lower back towards the mat. Breath in and then roll all the way back up, keeping length in the spine and then lifting and stacking the bones. Good, and then we can do that without holding. So nice relaxed arms, relaxed shoulders, out breath, roll. Breathe, roll back up. So you go back to where you can still keep control. Exhale, roll. Breathe, roll back up. And let's lift as close as we can. Okay, a little baby back bend. Lower back down, one more like that. Exhale, roll. Hover, roll up, and lift, lift, lift. Just warming things up, and then taking it down. Good. I'm going to go back and hold it there. So take it back to where you can control it. Rolling back. Okay, it's maintaining that shape, and just let the shoulders shift, lifting, and rolling, and a lift, and a lower. Inhaling up, exhaling down. A couple more. And then coming all the way up, 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 up. Keep coming, keep coming, lifting up. Baby back bend, back to tall spine and lower down. Okay, I'm going to just single out the band now. And we're going to visit that same space. Okay, so take it down. There we go, hold. A little pause. One, two. Elbows bend. So feel the shoulder blades drawing down to your back as you maintain it. One more. And then lift back up. Back extension and back forward. Okay. Going down once more. Okay, here we go. Adding rotation. So take it down. So palms facing each other. And literally, we're just going to turn to the left, to center, to right. So you're keeping a good width in the collarbone, good control of the abs, maintaining the shape, just letting the upper body turn, left, to center, to right, to center, Lift all the way up and up and up. And then just bring it all the way down and bring yourself into a forward fold. Shake it out. Okay. From there, we're going to go all the way down to the mat. Okay. So just check you've got space behind you and just begin bone by bone rolling your back down onto the mat. Okay, until you land. Nicely on the mat. 
bring myself forward a bit. So just adjust clothing, make sure you've got the heaviness of the pelvis, the ribs and the head, okay? And then palms reaching, reaching skywards, palms facing forwards, and we're just going to pull the band out to the side so the elbows come wide, and then reach up. So pull down, and lift up, out, go to reach, couple more, and return, pull, and reach, nice, and then from there, adding a little head nod, so from here, just let the arms track back level with your ears, a quick little inhale, curl up the head, and then reach the band towards your knees, hold this position, arms go up, lengthen down. Keep going, lift, exhale, reach beyond your knees, hold that shape, arms track, lengthen down. So we'll keep quite active through the legs here, so as you curl up, almost feel the heels drawing back a little, arms lift, and we go down, one more, lift and curl, reach beyond, lift, and lengthen down. Nice, okay. We're in a perfect position to do um, some leg work now. So just, I'm going to go on to my stronger band. So just taking one leg into the band, doesn't matter which one, we're doing both. And just have the toes showing through, and then just cross the band over. So it's nice, the foot's nicely hammocked, and then draw your elbows down to the mat. It's a good way of just keeping the collarbone nice and open, okay? And we're starting just with some um, leg work. I tend to have the band coming out of the top of my fist, okay? So, from here, I'm going to encourage the back, the, the hamstrings to have a little stretch here. So start with both knees bent, okay? Lower back imprinting down on the mat, and then straightening both legs, one to the ceiling, one along the mat. And go again. Keep going. So encourage the thigh to stay still. The one in the air. And that's not the easiest thing to glide your foot along, so it might be a bit of a lifting. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep drawing down with the abs. Straightening. And don't force the leg to go straight if it, it won't get there. Go work with your range of movement. A couple more. The le extending leg, pull the toes towards your shins on both legs if you can. Okay. Then as you come back in, just lifting, lengthening the leg to the ceiling and just keeping the, the hip down of that leg. Just take the leg slightly over the body and then slightly out to the side. And use the band like you're kind of steering the leg. Okay. You have an option with this leg, you can lengthen it out. That feels okay. But just work on keeping the pelvis nice and still to start with. And let's take that into a leg circle, <clears throat> crossing over the midline, down and around. And pause. Exhale away. Reach into the band. One more. Round. And back. One more. Round. And back. And then this time, let the hip lift. So same direction, but this time, let that leg lift up. Where sunflowers nearly went. Okay, so feel that nice little tip of the hip. So reach. Round. Down. And back. One more. Lift up. And over. Down. And around and back. <clears throat> Let's introduce some old favourites. So bending that knee. <clears throat> you can <clears throat> keep the head down or you can curl up. Single leg stretch coming up here. Lengthen the leg. Draw that knee in and change. So we've got resistance on the leg in the band. 
And again, keeping the upper body nice and quiet and still. Okay, elbows can be just floating or down on the ground. Away and in, away and in, and lower everything down. A little bit of footwork. Can't resist the footwork. So again, nice to have the resistance and just take it into some ankle flexion and extension and flexion. There we go. So when the ankle straightens, that's extension. Here's flexion when we pull the toes to the shin. And then circles. Oh, not the best, biggest circles, but try and make them as smooth as you can. Take it the other way. And okay, all right, and then swap feet. So a little change, just put leg number two in, cross over the band, and actually let's start with the footwork. So just pointing and flexing. Okay, try not to let the band shift. And this can be done with a bent knee. Don't Worry too much if your leg isn't super straight. And circling round. Great exercise for when we're out walking, hiking, on uneven ground. We need to keep good strength and mobility in the ankles. Okay. And then taking it on to our little series of exercises. So both knees can start bent. And then we're straightening. And bending. Turn up a bit. Straighten, encouraging the backs of the knees to open and bend. Keep the lower back down on the mat. Exhaling as you straighten. Inhaling to come back. One more. Okay. And then take it into a TikTok pattern so the Imagine your big toes coming towards your opposite shoulder and then you're out to the side. And sort of let the arms join in a bit here. They can sort of steer the leg where you want it to go. Okay. The leg on the ground, if you, if you again, try and keep that as steady as possible. I tend to pull my toes in to anchor myself down. <clears throat> Then take it into leg circles, cross the body, down and reach, whoops, and back, across, down. Again, first few, keeping the hips nice and still. So feel your abs coming in here to keep everything steady. And again, use a little bit of arm work to steer the leg. And then let's take the leg over and let the hip tip across, round and back. Cross and around, and back, and across, and around, and back. Nice. And then take it into our single leg stretch. So again, cut up the head if you want to. Head can stay down. Float up leg number two, and we're away. Reach and in. It's a good little self check on you to see how how your legs are tracking, encouraging them to go super straight as they're going forward. Okay. Pressing away. And two. And one. And bring it all back in. Good, okay. Let's do a little bit with both feet in the band. So let's start with the uh, little frog's position of the, of the Legs, so we've got the heels connected, um, knees bent, and again, elbows down or just hovering above the mat. Okay, again, you can curl up if you want to. Okay, double leg stretch. So as you extend the legs, they join and in. So keep a good sense of um, strength in the legs. Don't let the knees collapse towards the chest here. And really feel the quads pulling up as you extend the legs away. You can have a little bicep curl if you want to multitask, depending on your band. 
And two. And one. Nice. Okay. And then lowering the head down. Let's have a little bit of a, a corkscrew moment. So we're just going to let the, the knees can be bent. Our legs straight. Just let the feet glide one way and circle down and around and back. And then reverse. Inhaling, exhaling as you circle. Whoops. So the bigger the movement, the more abs needed to control. So we've got the band, the arms doing their work as well here. Across, round, down, and back. Nice. And then we can just bend both knees if you want a little bit of fun. Walk the hands up the band, and we can curl up the head and roll up into a little teaser moment. Okay, now as we get here, can we sit and sit super tall? Okay, nice. And then from here, just bend the knees, take it all back down. Let's do a couple more because it's quite fun. Curl up the head, lengthen the legs forward, lift, 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 lift. Collarbone is wide. And then enjoy the down. Nice bend, going down with control. One more. Look. Curve the spine. Look to the feet. Lift. And then slowly down. Good. Okay. Let's do a little bit of um, um, bridging here. So I'll keep them with a strong band and again a nice loose wrap but keep the hands without tension. Bring the heels towards the sit bones. Okay. Legs, legs together and on your out no not legs together, let's separate them slightly, hip width, and on your out breath. Begin to send, stand into the feet, send the knees forward, lower the band. And once they meet, Push the hips up, pull the band down, and then separate. Melt the spine down, arms track back. Ready to go again. So articulate through that lower back. Just stand into the feet, send the knees forward, back of the neck long, stand and pull, and then return back down. Um, no more like that. Just check that the knees aren't splaying out or in. Sometimes I'll place a ball there. That's a good little tool for keeping everything in good line. And then separate and roll down. Nice. Just do one more. Roll up. Still one of my favourites. Press down. Press up. Send the arms back this time. Enjoy a cat stretch. You can lift onto your toes. And then melt down, melt down, melt down. All the way down. And bring the arms forward. Okay. Let's just do some little hip rolls. I'm going to use softer band. Let's keep the feet together, knees together. Right arm is staying where it is. The as we tip towards the camera, the arm is going to pull as well. And return. And then we're off the other way. Let's reverse that. Arm pulls, knees tip the other way. And return. So version one is a hard one. This is the go-to one. Inhaling over. And again, let the eyes follow the movement here. Out. And return. Let's go one more. Out. And return. All the way. And have a stretch out. Good. Okay. Do a little bit of work in sitting now. So if you're here and you're game for it, we can have a, a roll up to sitting. You can use the band, we can hook the band around our feet. 
Okay, if you want a bit of extra support here, curl up head, neck and chest and pull and lift. Okay, all right. Um, from here, let's do a little bit of spine stretch forward. So we're just going to sit, sit on the sit bones. Again, you can have a cushion, you can have the knees bent. The important thing is having a tall spine, okay? So from here, again, you can flex your feet and sit, imagine you're stacked against the wall with your back. I'm gonna go for the light wrap again. Okay, and the first ones we're going to do classic. As you nod your chin to your chest, draw the ribs back, reach the fingertips forward and just go for that stretch through the upper back. Breathe into the ribs and then lift yourself back up. And we're ready to go again. It's not big. Not the chin. Reach the fingertips forward. Draw the ribs back. Okay, we're keeping the arms high for these first few. And then restuck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Okay, one more. Still one of the trickiest exercises, I think, to do properly. Reach. And then gather yourself back up. And then let's go with a bit more freedom. We're going to dive forward now. So you can let your fingertips dive towards your feet. And then lift yourself into that flat back. Keep lifting up. From here, we're going to do a little turn and a pull and a lift. And a turn and a lift. Ready to dive again. So dive yourself forward, curve everything forward. Okay, and then lift into that flat back. Lift the breastbone, lift the eye line. Keep lifting up and go into a twist. And a pull. Arms raise, twist and pull. And lift, one more, dive. Scoop up and turn, pull. Inhale up. Ah. Nice. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of um, a reverse saw, a little bit of saw movement. So just separate the legs a little bit more. And from here, we're going to start here. <laughs> okay. And we're going to twist towards one foot. So take a twist. Here's, a, here's the thing. The back hand goes down. And then you take a lean, little side bend up, and then ready to go the other way. Okay, so turn, pivot, and lean, pull up, and return. Twist, inhaling, back arm down, back arm bends, push away, and turn. Draw down and lift back up and bring it all down and roll the shoulders. Good, okay. A little bit more shoulder work. So again, I'm going light. If you've got a heavier band, feel free to use it. Have your legs however they're happy. I quite like mine. Slightly this sort of diamond shape here. Palms reaching forward, shoulders are down. And as we did lying down, just draw the elbows wide. Okay, just check here that you've got that nice 90, 90 position and the wrists aren't doing anything weird. Reach forward, pull back. So you should feel some warmth in the shoulder blades as you draw back and they come together. Separate as they reach. Little add-ons. Okay, draw back and then go for the stick them up and down. So you're going from here here to here. So imagine someone's just lightly keeping your elbows in the same place. They're not shifting, just that rotation and some warmth developing in the shoulders. Okay, and then next of all, here we are in our stick em up. Now we're just going to reach and pull down. Reach, pull. Inhale up and down. And then 
putting that together, we go from here, sleepwalking arms. I'm going to add a little hinge as well here. So let's hinge forward, pull back, rotate, reach up and back, and forward. So try if you can to do this with a straight spine, but hinging, hinging from the hips, pull back, rotate, reach up and forward. Let's go one more, draw back, flip, reach up and all the way down and give the shoulders a moment. Good, okay. Just, I'm going to do a little bit of sideline and I'm going stronger band because we're using leg work. So just put the, um, the top leg into the band. Okay, just doing some classic leg series. So you can be down totally, like so, you can be here, you can be here, and just efficient place. So if you're coming onto your elbow, I'll go underneath the shoulder, okay. And just check that this collarbone and the shoulder isn't lifting. Keep it away from the ear. Leg is down that centre line. We're looking ahead. And we're just going to swing from forward and back. Keep going. So again, you can tighten up on the band if you want to. And just check what's happening with the shoulder here. So we can kind of get a little bit of work in the shoulder with this. Don't know we're going to our leg circles. Keeping as steady as you can in the upper body. Bring it back to centre line and we're lifting and lowering. So don't worry about how high it can go, but how long can you reach the leg without dropping the waist as well. So trickier if you're up. Try and keep the foot facing forward. Try and keep the knee facing forward. Okay, and then we're taking it into a leg circle, so I've got the space. We're going forward, up, and back. So again, you get the shoulder joining in a little bit here, and back. Keep the ribs from flaring, that was for my benefit. Keeping the elbow into that top of the hip, and then we can reverse that, take it back, up, and forward. And forward, back, up, and forward, and bring it down. Good, okay, other side. So, top foot in, simple, but just wanted it to be simple and doable for you. Nothing fancy. Uh -huh. Elbow anchoring down, collarbone is wide. All right, bottom leg anchoring down, starting with the swing, so. Swing forward and back. So as you go back, you should be feeling a little bit of a little bit of action in that glute muscle. What we want to avoid is that we're not sort of thrusting the upper body at all. So that's staying nice and quiet. It's all happening from the hip. Forward and back. It might not feel like well easy to come forward, but going back is the hard bit. Okay, bring it back to that midline and check. Some people tend to think their midline is more here. So have a look, it needs to be in, in line with the waist. And now we lift and lower. And lift and lower. We're keeping sort of the integrity of the upper body so we're not changing. The waist isn't shrinking as you lift your leg like this. So avoid that. Okay, leg circles forward. And around. And I say almost encourage the shoulder to mirror the leg a little here. Up and around. And then reverse. Take it back. Up and forward. Back and around. One more. Nice. Okay. And then bringing the band, bringing it out of the band. Good. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more um, in the next little short video um, in a few different positions possibly, but that's uh, that'll keep you going 
let's give you some ideas hopefully okay 